Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms, including subscribing uh, to the Eric Dieter Show on Rumble and or YouTube. Let's get started. Well, I am in the process, and it's costing me a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of resources to build a little conservative media company. But I am committed to it. Our top story proves that I'm on the right track. 59%. Now, the question wasn't whether you think they're biased or anything else. It was 59%. Let's round it up to 60, shall we? 60% of the voters believe that the media is the enemy of the people. Think about that. The media wants the fourth branch of government that we could count on is now the enemy of the people. And you know what? It's the truth. Look how they censor. Look how they shadow ban. Look how they spread misinformation while accusing us of spreading misinformation. The enemy of the people. Wow. Isn't the media profta the enemy of the people in the former Soviet Union? Yep, it is. Now here. DeSantis' big announcement is supposed to come today, and he is supposed to be doing a Twitter interview with Elon Musk. Musk says he's not made any commitment to the office. Folks, I want to tell you right now, Ron DeSantis, his ego's gotten away from him. He has the support of the Bushites. He has the support of the anti-Trumpers. And you know what's going to happen? He's going to lose. And the reason why he's going to lose is you can take all of that and put it all together. It doesn't trump the Trump voters. Plain and simple. He's not going to win. In the process, he's going to be bruised pretty bad. Trump had a New York hearing yesterday, lasted 16 minutes by video. And in this hearing, the judge did something unprecedented. He also set it for trial in March in the middle of the primary, the trial. But you know what he did? He said that Donald Trump could not publicly speak about evidence or even see some of the evidence. Folks, that is unprecedented in American jurisprudence. A defendant has a right to review everything, prepare for his defense. It's truly outrageous. And it's why I did a Facebook Live about the problem with judicial conduct in this country. It's a real problem. Trump's lawyers want to talk to Garland about their unfair treatment like that's going to make any difference. Really? It's truly amazing. You know, it just proves that you cannot, you cannot give these folks any quarter. You turn the clock back, I wonder what Trump would have done with Hillary Clinton. He tried to be gracious, bit him in the ass. It did. It's the way it works. Graham, Franklin Graham, Billy Graham's son, says all the demons from hell have been released upon this earth, and he's right. Day in and day out, there's no doubt. There is good versus evil. It is a war going on. Speaking of Hillary again, Hillary admitted that old Joe Biden's age might be a problem. She, she wants, she wants Biden to drop off of this. She wants to be the white knight that flies in. By the way, she knows that if Joe Biden fails. It isn't going to be Kamala. It's not going to be Buttigieg. There's nobody. She sees her as the white knight coming in to replace him. We'll see what happens. Target continues to make a mess of things. You know, the CEO says he's proud of all this, but they apparently had an emergency meeting to walk back some of this pride stuff, some of this transgender stuff. Meanwhile, moms all across America saying, we're not shopping at Target anymore. You know what? Are you got to be brain dead to watch what's happened to Disney, what happened to Budweiser, what happened to these companies. Who's running these companies? It just goes to show you, remember that the old expression, Tiger can't change his stripes? That's the problem. No matter what bad result's gonna happen to them, they just can't help themselves. They are part of the woke world of corporate America. It's a woke world out there. Tim Scott, God love him, he announced his run for presidency. I like Tim Scott. The problem with Tim Scott is he can't be Trump. But it's amazing how the left goes after a black guy. You had Joy Behar on The View 
basically acting like Tim Scott wasn't a black guy and had no right to speak for black people, blah, blah. I mean, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. I'm happy for Tim Scott. Hope he does well. U-Haul guy, this guy here crashed his U-Haul near the White House. His apparently only weapon was a Nazi flag, but he apparently was going to cause some kind of harm to Joe Biden. Who warning, boy, what would who be without a good pandemic, right? They're claiming there's some awful thing coming that's even worse than COVID. Imagine that. Eric Swalwell, you tired of this jack wagon yet? I'm tired of this jack wagon. Jack He's wagon? got the nerve. He's got the nerve to speak out on the Hunter Biden issue and claim it's a much ado about nothing. Yeah, just like your affair with bang, 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 which I love saying. National debt, it keeps climbing. These two guys keep talking. I ain't there right now. Joe Biden will run this country off the cliff before he gives in to Kevin McCarthy. That's a fact. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Coming up next, Bulldog TV local news. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieters TV local news. Always sponsored by Dieters Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms, and we have a great show for you today. Lead story. It came out late yesterday. John Cranley, the former mayor of the city of Cincinnati and failed Democratic candidate for governor of Ohio, says that he is contemplating a race against Melissa Powers, who is the current Hamilton County prosecutor. This You can't make this up. This is interesting. I got some inside info on this. First off, Melissa Powers is an attractive, smart, experienced judge turned prosecutor. She was also an assistant prosecutor in Joe Dieter's office. Her and Joe Dieter's are extremely close. She's locked into the Hamilton County Republican establishment. She just broke Joe Dieter's record at a fundraiser, which we reported about, raised over $500,000 at a single event. She can raise the money. She's already raised the money. She plans on raising $1.8 million to keep this seat. It's the last big political seat that the Republicans are holding on to in Hamilton County, and it's why they replaced Joe Dieters with Melissa Powers, because she's a woman. These women Republican judges have gotten reelected in Hamilton County, so they were smart to do that. But John Cranley, as the mayor, uh, former mayor of the city of Cincinnati, you cannot, you know, ignore that. This is the interesting dynamic, though. Cranley was always friendly with Alex T. Lafontu, always friendly with Joe Dieters in the, his game. So I find it interesting. There's You never know what meets the eyes. This could be legitimate. Float the balloon and see what happens. Smart thing to do. I'm doing that right now in a couple moves that I might make in Kentucky. Or is this a move that's concocted with the Powers campaign to keep an opponent out? Trust me, Alex T. Lafonto and Joe Dieters, Greg Hartman, and those that gang is great at making these kind of deals, leaving people alone, all those type of things. Cranley might be a plant for them. You cannot rule it out. I know they have relationships there. All right, off the long crime. I'm going to use my phone. You can't make this up. I came into work today, and I was teased by every woman in the office because they were talking about the big incident going on. It kept them up past midnight last night of this guy that Independence Police were uh, searching for, accused of firing shots in Opiner, Kentucky, home last week. Says he's in his 60, drives a blue pickup truck. But what was funny, I, I thought they, they said they finally caught him. But anyway, this was going on in my backyard. And I didn't know about it. And they were teasing me that, I, that we didn't know about it. I'm like, well, why didn't you tell me about it? But uh, it was funny, like they said on the Independence Community page, that because this involved the chase, that my name got involved, and they said I was using a chain. I was chasing my nephew with a chainsaw. I guess every time there's a chase now, it's going to be reminiscent about my quote-unquote chase. It's hysterical. Also long crime, Jacob Roberts pled guilty to the attempted murder of a police officer in June of 2021 outside Planet Fitness in Newport. You wonder why I take my guns everywhere I go, including Planet Fitness? I rest my case. Matt Borges, 
He is the former aide to Joe Dieters, the former Hamil uh, state Republican Party chair or executive director. He's going to be sentenced in June. He tried to delay that. He's going to prison. Stephen Shang-Shang was arrested in the shooting of Deputy Conley from Scott County. This Shang-Shang character, laundry list. He's apparently been arrested and charged with a crime nearly every year of his adult life. Bad, bad apple. The system fails us again. Two inmates have escaped the Allen Oakwood Correctional. One guy's named Lee, one guy's named Gillespie. They apparently have captured Lee and Henderson. Let's hope Gillespie doesn't show up on your front step. Last but not least, a landscaper has been killed at 3 p.m. in Coryville doing landscaping work. He worked for a company doing landscaping, shot and killed. Yes, Cincinnati, you're really safe. In local news, Mercy Health is fighting with Anthem on their Medicaid contract. We'll see what happens because that obviously could affect a lot of you. A Pendleton County woman, this is home, by the way, I'm just saying, of my producer, Sabrina Kane. I don't know if there's a connection, but a Pendleton County woman's monkey bit a child. So the law is involved now. Do you know this person? Have you ever seen this monkey, Sabrina? No, I looked her up. All right. Jonathan Moore is going to sue Cold Spring. You know why? Jonathan Moore was arrested by Cold Spring. He was the wrong Jonathan Moore. Remember, police have immunity for mistakes. So I don't know if he's got a case. Interesting, this story is two things I want to point out. Number one, his mother is Cindy Moore, who serves on Cold Spring City Council. When they went into executive session about this, she recused herself. Point number two, I want to know what Steve Cunningham, my buddy in Cold Spring who just ran for mayor, thinks about this scandal. Let me know, Steve. I know you watch. Gary York from Westchester and John Walter from Kettering said, Bodies were found in the Utah-Arizona border. Apparently, were washed up in a flood. By the way, folks, I talk. I, I don't mind hiking as long as I'm, like, within certain areas. These people that go on these hikes out in the middle of nowhere, I, I, I don't get it. I at least carry a gun. In Kentucky, the United Mine Workers endorsed Andy Bashir. Apparently, this wasn't any big uh, uh, shocker of any type. They taunted it. A couple coal companies supported Bashir, too. Of course they did. You know what that's all about. Daniel Cameron released a poll showing that he's really in a statistical heat with Andy Bashir, only 2% down. Very interesting. Where Bashir is strong, Louisville and Lexington. Where Cameron is strong, Northern Kentucky and the rest of the state. Didn't need a poll to tell me that. We already knew that. And guess what do they do when they release this poll? They ask for money. Remember what I told you? Polls are used to raise money. Uh, favorable rating of Andy Bashir's 47%. Unfavorable, 42%. General election today, 45 Bashir, 43 Cameron, undecided 12%. Trump, 57% favorable. Biden, 33%. Now you know why Daniel Cameron is going to make sure that it's Biden, 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 Biden. Told you we had a good show today. Got good stuff coming your way. In Ohio, they're going to pass a bill that keeps transgenders out of the bathrooms. If they got a willy whacker, they're boys. If they don't have a willy whacker, they're girls. And it's sports. The Reds lost to the Cardinals 8-3. to And UC broke ground on their indoor facility. My, one of my nemesis, Larry Shakely, who's richer than God, has donated the, the bulk of that money. A few more things to add on at the end of the news I just want to share with you. Happy birthday. I did a separate video for my brother Jed, who would have been 63 today. He died at 54. I miss him every day. And some fun things in history. The Brooklyn Bridge opened in 1883. Samuel Moore sent the first code in 1844. And I love this. What hath God wrought? Mary Had a Little Lamb was published today. How you like that? Little fun facts for you. Coming up next, this guy, this handsome Brit, Jamie Spinley. He hangs out with uh, Kate and William all the time. Jamie Spinley in his World News. Happy Wednesday, Bulldog Nation, the world's headlines. The German police force have been involved in seven states in a probe into climate campaigners suspected of forming and criminal groups. Around 170 police officers took part in the raid. 
The deadly fire on Monday at a school in Guyana was started by a pupil because a phone was confiscated and has now been revealed. 19 people were killed in a blaze early hours Monday morning. France have now banned some domestic flights where train services exist in attempt to cut out carbon emissions. The ban but all rules out travel between Paris, Nantes, Lyon and Bordeaux. Food prices in the UK continue to surge at the fastest rate in 45 years, such as sugar, milk and pasta. Since April 2022, the increase is up 19.1%. The new, the new Prime Minister of India, Mr Modi, is set to be inaugurated on May the 28th. Until tomorrow, take care and have a fantastic day. And as always, thank you for watching Bulldog Media World News. <laughs>